Deep beneath the arid deserts of Nevada lies a terrifying secret. In the 1990 cult classic Tremors, Kevin Bacon and his companions face off against one of the most unique and fearsome creatures in cinema, the Graboid. But what if these subterranean predators were real? Today, we'll delve into the speculative biology of the Graboid, exploring its anatomy, adaptations, survival strategies, and even its surprising weaknesses. The Graboid is a massive, worm-like creature, reaching up to 30 feet in length and weighing several tons. Its muscular, cylindrical body is encased in a thick, segmented hide that provides both protection and flexibility, allowing it to burrow efficiently through the soil. At its head, three powerful, retractable mandibles function like a trap, snapping open to reveal a cavernous mouth lined with sharp teeth. Inside, a trio of snake-like tentacles, each tipped with sensory appendages, can extend to capture prey. These tentacles do not only aid in hunting, but also provide a secondary means of manipulation, showcasing the creature's predatory efficiency. Internally, the Graboid's digestive system appears specialised for processing organic material found in its environment, likely relying on powerful acids to break down prey quickly. Its respiratory system remains a mystery, though it likely extracts oxygen directly from the soil through specialised adaptations, such as highly vascularised membranes. Graboids are masters of their subterranean domain, perfectly adapted for life beneath the surface. Their streamlined bodies and immense musculature enable them to tunnel through soil and rock with surprising speed, estimated at 15 to 20 miles per hour. This locomotion is made possible by a combination of peristaltic movement, similar to earthworms, and specialised spikes or bristles along their underside, providing traction. The creature's hide is incredibly durable, protecting it from abrasions while also insulating it from temperature extremes underground. Graboids also possess an acute sensitivity to vibrations. Lacking conventional vision or hearing, they rely entirely on detecting ground vibrations to locate prey. This adaptation not only makes them formidable hunters, but also highlights their unique niche in the desert ecosystem. The Graboid's feeding strategy is as terrifying as it is efficient. It uses its keen sensitivity to vibrations to pinpoint prey, often waiting until the target is in a vulnerable position before striking. Once close, the Graboid launches an ambush, either swallowing its prey whole or using its tentacles to drag it underground. This ambush predator behaviour minimises the energy expenditure required to capture food, a critical adaptation for such a large organism in a resource-scarce environment. Interestingly, the Graboid seems capable of processing a wide variety of organic material, from humans to livestock, suggesting it has evolved to exploit any available food source in its environment. Where did the Graboids come from? While the film offers no concrete explanation, we can speculate on their evolutionary history. One possibility is that Graboids are relics from a prehistoric era, perhaps the late Paleozoic or Mesozoic, when giant invertebrates and burrowing creatures thrived. They may have evolved as apex predators in a subterranean ecosystem, adapting to hunt large land-dwelling prey. Another theory suggests an extraterrestrial origin. The Graboid's unique physiology, including their tentacle-like appendages and alien appearance, might point to a life form that crash-landed on Earth millions of years ago and adapted to its environment over time. Lastly, some scientists might theorise that Graboids are an example of extreme convergent evolution, where their traits evolved independently to suit the harsh desert's environment, making them remarkably specialised for survival underground. Graboids exhibit a fascinating, albeit terrifying, life cycle. In the original film, their reproduction isn't discussed in depth, but later sequels hint at their ability to lay dormant as eggs or cysts, awaiting the right environmental conditions to hatch. 
This strategy would allow them to endure long periods of scarcity, ensuring their survival in the desert's unpredictable climate. Upon hatching, Graboids rapidly grow, feeding on available prey until reaching their adult form. Interestingly, their life cycle doesn't end with adulthood. Subsequent films introduce us to their metamorphic stages, including Shriekers and, ahem, Ass Blasters. These stages demonstrate an incredible adaptability, suggesting that Graboids are capable of altering their physiology to exploit new niches. Despite their fearsome reputation, Graboids are not invincible. Like all apex predators, they have vulnerabilities that can be exploited. First and foremost, Graboids are heavily reliant on their sensitivity to vibrations for hunting. This strength also serves as a weakness. By creating false vibrations, such as rhythmic pounding or controlled explosions, Humans can mislead Graboids, luring them into traps or unsafe terrain. Their inability to process information beyond ground vibrations is another limitation. For example, solid rock is an impenetrable barrier for Graboids. Their inability to tunnel through such surfaces can leave them stranded or force them into more predictable attack patterns. Another notable weakness is their size and physiology. While their massive bodies allow them to overpower prey, that also makes them less agile, particularly when navigating confined spaces or uneven terrain. This has been exploited in the films, where Graboids are often tricked into overextending themselves, falling into traps, or colliding with obstacles. Finally, Graboids appear to lack significant regenerative capabilities. Injuries to their mandibles or tentacles can impair their hunting abilities, making them vulnerable to persistent attacks. Furthermore, their reliance on ambush tactics means that when their element of surprise is compromised, their effectiveness as predators is significantly reduced. The Graboids of Tremors are a testament to the creativity of speculative biology in cinema. Their anatomy, adaptations, and predatory behaviour paint a vivid picture of a creature perfectly suited to its subterranean world. But their weaknesses remind us that even the most fearsome predators have their limits. While these creatures may not exist in real life, they remind us of the incredible diversity of life on Earth, and the possibility that some mysteries lie just beneath our feet. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. You can also become a patron or a member of the channel if you're feeling generous. Links in the description. I'd also like to thank my current members and patrons who can be seen here. This has been the Beware Cast, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.